But first, there's new fallout tonight following the death of a teenager who was tased by state police while riding an ATV in Detroit. 15 year old Damone, uh, Damone Grimes died on August 26, sparking anger in the community. And now state police are making another change. Jason Colthorpe uh, with this uh, shift in policy. Jason. A big change, as a matter of fact, Devin, MSP announcing just a few moments ago, officially it has changed its pursuit policy. It will no longer give chase if someone is suspected of just a misdemeanor or something less. It's got to be a felony for MSP to give pursuit or it will cut it off. There are also changes we're learning about in the 9th Precinct in Detroit that MSP assists on. It's taking some officers out of those neighborhoods because of tension there. All of this, of course, following protests of the death of Damon Grimes which has heightened tensions all over. For a week now, the 10 state police troopers who work Detroit's 9th Precinct five days a week have been reassigned to work the freeways. We didn't pull out of anywhere, which has been some of the headlines that we've kind of seen over there, so we want to clean that up. MSP spokesman Mike Shaw wants people to know MSP is still there to assist, but in the wake of Damon Grimes' death during an MSP chase of his ATV, it was decided to let cooler heads prevail. We looked at the patrols that were in there. Um, we saw that some of the people were upset about what was going on. Uh, we know this investigation is going to take some time because we're not going to rush through it. But it is changing its pursuit policy. As of today, MSP will only give chase when it believes a felony has been committed. I think that the state police department is hiding from what is taking place. Reverend W.J. Rideout has led a protest of Damon Grimes' death, calling it murder. He says fewer troopers or changing policy isn't the answer, but weeding out any bad cops. When is the last time the Michigan State Police have had any kind of affairs for the black poor community? What have they done for the black community? They don't even hire enough black cops. We'll take his uh, his law enforcement experience and kind of file that in, a, in the appropriate area. Again, we'd be more than happy to speak to him. But again, we never saw Reverend ride out when we were trying to do things in the community. We were trying to do stuff in the Ninth Precinct when we first went there and trying to bring down violent crime. Speaking of the Ninth Precinct, what does this mean? You have fewer officers there. Well, we'll talk to Detroit Police Chief James Craig about that coming up at 6. He is also heading the investigation of this incident, so we'll get an update on that as well, all coming up at 6. Devin? Well, there's an interesting balance here, Jason. I'm wondering if MSP is worried that this now emboldens people maybe to just take off and run. It is very much worried about that. In fact, that's kind of in the language that it's, it's already sent to us about this new policy. Yeah. And I think what they want people to remember right out of the gate is while they're only giving chase to people who commit a felony, fleeing and eluding is a felony. However, exactly. it is saying felonies other than fleeing and eluding. I think it just is worried about cutting off things before they get too dangerous. But they want people. Uh, I think that's the, arg the, uh, the problem right now that they have to tackle is to make sure yeah. people don't just run for the sake of running. It is yeah. complex. All right, Jason.